All right, so today we want to talk a little bit about the load tempo. And the biggest thing that we see with our younger guys, especially ten, the 10 and under crowd, is when we want guys to go faster, that immediately goes into a faster load, right? So as we can see, Lick here kind of took a slow, easy, controlled swing, all right? Lick, now what I want to see you do is take a more aggressive, fast turn, but I want to see how the load stays, all right? There you go. Thank you. All right. So, like, what I want you to try to do is load to the beat of my hand and then take an aggressive swing. Okay? Great job. Right? More aggressive swing, but the load speed stays the same. Guys, nothing is changing when we want to speed it up. The speed of that load is going to stay the same, slow and controlled, and then we explode from the ground. Thanks, guys. Good job, buddy. All right, so today what we want to talk about is load tempo, the tempo and the speed of our load and how that's dictated by the pitcher. So as you can see right here, I had Lick going on the clap of my hand. And then that starts his load, and the second time he moves is when I clap for the second time. All right, so when we load, that is all based on the pitcher. Our timing is based on him. What I see a lot with older guys, especially guys with the bigger leg kick, is they want to start before I even start moving. When I'm throwing BP or when I'm throwing front toss, they want to start before I start moving. So from there, we have to make sure that they are able to create good timing and tempo based on the speed of me, the speed of the pitcher. All right, so again, what, I'm, what we're doing here is I'm having Andrew look at the back net, all right? And when I clap the first time, he's gonna load, he's gonna start that, and then when I clap the second time, he's going towards the ball. So the speed of that will change. And this is a great T-drill for guys that tend to not create good timing or generally just load based on the speed of the pitch and never change their tempo, right? These things will change based on the fastball, the curveball, the changeup. That speed and that tempo has to change every once in a while. We have to be, a, be adjustable to different pitches. All right, so here we go, Andrew, get in. Just like that. I'm waiting, and if he commits too soon, I'm not gonna clap because I want to see him going off of me. So let's see that again. Great job. All right, and we can do these drills in front toss off the machine as well. We can, as coaches, as your coach, or if you are flipping to your friends, we can change the speed of our arm going back. We can change the speed of our load going into the machine. And as hitters, these are gonna force us to be adjustable to different pitches to different leg kicks, whether the guy goes high or he slide steps, but we have to make sure that we are able to create good timing based on what the pitcher is trying to do to us. Not just good timing for easy front toss, and then that doesn't translate, all right? Thanks, guys. What's going on, guys? What I see that most young kids are struggling with is the speed and the tempo of that load. And dads, the way that we can help them is to make them a little bit more adjustable with a clap drill, all right? So as you can see, I just had Andrew over here taking a dry swing. You know, we can do this off the tee, we can do this off the machine, and we can do this off front toss. It, off the machine and off of front toss, it might not be with a clap, but it's based on the speed and the tempo of our arms moving back. But I find the easiest way with kids is to have no ball in place, especially to start, because the ball tends to make everybody panic a little bit, all right? But from right here, we're gonna have Andrew take another dry swing, and I'm gonna show you how this works. So we can have a few different clap speeds, right? So let's go slow. So as you can see, Andrew had to work up, he had to hold that, and then he started moving. Okay, so now let's speed that up a little bit. Right, and in general, we want the speed of that to be remotely the same. And as you can see, it's not a clap where it's, and then you hold and clap for a long time again. 
it is the difference in a half a second, right? The difference between the fastball and the changeup, or if they're even younger dads, we're talking the difference in a slide step or a kid with a quick delivery versus a slow delivery, or the difference in a 40 mile an hour fastball versus a 50 mile an hour fastball. But all of this gives kids ways to adjust and reason and ways to know how to adjust. What I see most kids struggle with is they just want to work up, go and try to take a swing no matter what the speed of the pitch is. And that's when they end up struggling to adjust between the 40 mile an hour fastball and the slower kid and the 50 mile an hour fastball and the faster kid. So try this out at home with your kids. Thanks.